Hello, and welcome to GVU Media. It's Allie Dufino here, and I'm actually here with my mom, Holly Dufino, and we're gonna go through a skin care routine, and also she's gonna do a simplistic makeup look on me. So first we're gonna start with skin care. What products do we have today? Well, I always encourage you to wash your hands before you start any skincare routine. I have to get those hands clean before we're touching our faces. Um, and then I'm always going to suggest a good um, normal combination cleanser. Cleanser is not going to be too harsh, too stripping. Um, it's not going to be too oily. Just normal to combination. Good cleanser uh, is a good place to start. Find one that works for you. Um, then your st second step is always going to be uh, following with a toner. A toner is going to help ex just sort of slough off anything remaining after your cleanser. And um, it also, sort of a bonus, is it helps uh, shrink pore size. So a lot of people have issues with their pores. Um, this is just something that you can do quick and easy that's going to help um, shrink your pores down. Um, along with the cleanser and the toner, I would suggest once to twice a week, every two to three days, really, or, or, or as needed, really, um, a good exfoliator. It's just a good way to kind of get a deep down clean. Um, if you find it's too harsh doing it twice a week, you know, you just once a week is fine. It gets off the extra dead skin on the top of your skin, kind of uh, gives you that fresh look again. So um, kind of gets that dead skin off. And I highly recommend that. Such a key, key thing that you should always have in your routine. Also, again, here, um, if you're having issues with pore size, it's also going to help reduce your pore size. And then, um, no matter what your age is, I'm going to always, always, always suggest a good moisturizer that has sun protection. Um, really, that's, you know, as, as long as your skin is adequately moisturized and hydrated, that's all I ask from a moisturizer. But then the main thing is that we have an SPF of 30 um, minimum. And so just a good oil-free lotion, SPF 30. And then um, last but not least, I would suggest a, a lightweight eye cream. Our skin under our eyes is far thinner than the uh, rest of our face, so we need to um, take care of it differently. We can't, I mean, we can put our, you know, our facial moisturizer on there, but I would highly recommend an eye cream just to tend to that much thinner skin that has different demands and different uh, requirements to uh, be at its optimal condition. So um, as far as skincare, pretty simple, looks like a lot, but it really is, is something, it's real quick. And I encourage you to do it once or twice a day. So would you do this before you put on makeup? Absolutely. Or after or both? Like? Well, I mean, first thing in the morning before you do your makeup application, uh, even if you're going to do a full face or something really light, I just want you to have that sun protection on for during the day. That's so, so critical. Um, that's really the, the best uh, prevention, uh, preventer for uh, wrinkles, sun damage, okay. that type of thing. So. That's something that you could be doing at any age. I mean, never too young for that. Um, and then adequately moisturized, hydrated skin is going to uh, make for a, a more natural makeup application. So if your skin is dry and you're trying to put makeup on top of that, it's just going to accentuate uh, the dry, flaky skin. So get okay. that skin hydrated. So I washed my face before this. I'm good to go. I'm moisturized, so I think we're ready to do my makeup. Okay. So let's, okay. get, let's get Now, started. I know Allie doesn't <laughs> like a lot of makeup. I think she wears it maybe twice a year. So I'm going to go with something simple that Allie could do every day that would just not be a big deal. It wouldn't be like, oh, my oh gosh, my. who's that? Um, <laughs> it's just going to be um, just something kind of even her skin tone out, give her kind of a little more polished, finished look. And in this case, I would recommend a powder foundation. Um, this is just something that you know you're in control. You're sort of driving the bus as far as how much you put on, but it's just easier to control. A tip: make sure it's the right color of your skin. Definitely. <laughs> I know that. Um, and then sort of just rub it along the skin rather than um, quickly, because we're sort of wanting it to really adhere to the skin. So just dragging it along the skin okay. and pressing it in. I'm feeling prettier already. 
pretty with or without makeup, Ellie. <laughs> Thank you for the daily reminder. I need that. Okay. So, so what's next? Um, you know, everybody needs that sun-kissed look. Iowa winters, just uh, we start to look yeah. a little pasty in these lights. Woo! Um, <laughs> so I'm going to highly recommend just an uh, everyday uh, bronzer. And you're going to want to kind of put that where the sun would hit. So take you back three months this summer when you were a bronze beauty. You're just so, going to kind of right okay. along the top of the cheekbones, sort of in a C formation on this side. Obviously, that's a backward C. <laughs> my mom would always do my makeup for like school dances in high school so um, this is pretty normal for me she's actually done makeup for around 16 years in skincare so no big deal no big deal she's just a professional okay let's go my mom and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with her doing my makeup because sometimes I get kind of scared of the makeup, especially when it comes to mascara. Did you bring mascara today? I did. Oh, no. Your favorite. My biggest fear. So sort of the base is what we're going for here. Just sort of evening out, giving a little bit of color, mist over the mouth there. Um, and then let's go back and put a little rosy cheek. Okay. Again, this is for Allie who doesn't wear makeup a lot, so we're not going to make her not look like her. We're just going to sort of accentuate her um, features. Features, right. <laughs> it's not like a Halloween. No, no. no. So maybe we'll just, next time. Yeah, maybe next time. We're just going to go and take a little bit of a, a nude color eyeshadow. Okay. And go all across her eyes. She loves this part. She favorite. loves the eyes. I'm just scared that it will poke me in the eye. But I'm not. Now, by doing this and by starting with a nude color all over the lid or a skin color, so depending on your skin color, um, it just gives you sort of the opportunity to start with a clean slate. I mean, when we go to, you know, create a piece of art, we like a white, fresh, clean canvas, right? So same idea. Um, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of a nude color and put it over here in the crease, just blending it, blending it for just a soft, not severe look. Just on the edges here. I mean, no one would really look at Allie today and go, wow, Allie, you just got lots of makeup on. That's not, that's not what we do for Allie. We just want something sort of um, everyday friendly. Let me put a little bit more of the powder foundation above your mouth. Okay. Like you Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Usually I'm used to like the... What's the foundation, like liquid foundation? Right, liquid foundation. And that would be, you know, that's an alternative um, option. I mean, that's for somebody who wants a, a fuller makeup look, okay. a more um, sort of flawless type look. Uh, powder is just that alternative, just for somebody who just kind of on the go, college students, just don't want that high, you know, that high impact look. I think it feels better too. Like sometimes when I put on that, like it's so thick, I'm right. like, Okay, that's not uncommon, and so I, really I think the face. makeup industry realized that that women didn't like that feel, and so they came out with these powder foundations. It's just sort of a new new thing that have really taken off. So, um, your favorite part, oh. and then we're almost finished. So let's get going on that oh, part. My and I'm not gonna poke your oh, eye, Ellie. You're doing good. Okay. I think this is the best time I've done it. Yeah, you're doing good. Good girl. <laughs> We've had many of fights before homecoming. And that's sad. Dances. It's sad because like I want to tell you about the dance, but we're in a fight because you do my mascara. Because you think I'm going to poke your eyes. So. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, this is what my makeup ended up looking like. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Very thankful for my mom to do my makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this week on JVU Media, and we'll see you next time.